Hi guys, I'm Zuena. I'm a senior and a visual arts major, and today we'll be doing some makeup. I already started off with putting down my brows, so when you want to paint over or draw on top, it can, it's like a blank canvas. You want to do up to three or five coats for your brows, depending on how thick they are, and you want to go in the direction that your brows grow. So mine grow out this way, and you want to kind of push them back. But today we'll be going over some paints. So I have a cream based paint with me today. That's what I mostly use. But yeah, cream based, it's a lot easier to work with. It's kind of like working with foundation. So we're gonna get into that today. So I'm just waiting for my, my brows to uh, dry down and then we're gonna press it with powder. When you press it with powder, it sets the brows in place so they don't move and so they don't, you know, get tacky and other stuff. So my brows are completely dry. So I already did this brow, so what you wanna do is kinda dip into setting powder and roll it across the brow. That helps set it in place and you wanna add some pressure to make sure they're flattened. And then I go in with a big fluffy brush. You wanna go straight in with your face paint. Cause when I start applying it, I like to take a beauty blender and blend it out and kinda like tap in the product so I've been doing uh, makeup for about six to seven years. I first started off when I was in sixth grade and that was specifically for special effects. And I watched this show called Face Off and that really did inspire me to become a makeup artist and that's what I want to achieve when I get older. Sometimes my looks take up to four to five hours depending on what it is. But it's like a nice little time I have to myself doing makeup. So now that I have my base done, I'm going to be going in with some of the colors that I'm using today. I'm using more warm colors. I like using a big brush to kind of evenly disperse it because what ends up happening is if you go in with the beauty blender, it's going to just kind of sit the product on there and you want to mix it together before you apply it. And then now I'm going in and just kind of marking up the side of my face to get that color that I really want. So now what I did was I just blended out the colors and I'll be going back in with the white and highlighting parts that I want to be lighter. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna blend that out. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with setting powder and you just wanna kinda like tap it in. I'm gonna like get under the crease and you wanna tap it into the base. Okay, so now that my base is done, I'm going to be going in with some blush and I'm just going in with a powder that matches very similar but just a little darker than my face paint to create a little dimension because when you work with face paint, it makes your face very flat and you want to bring out dimensions in your face, not keep it flat. I'm going in with an eyeshadow palette, a more of a magenta shade just to darken up certain spots. I really want that like rosy, soft look. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and work it in the sides to contour a little bit. I'm just using whatever's left over on the brush to contour the sides of my jawline and underneath. So now I will be going in with an eyebrow pencil. And since I'll be doing a design on my face, it's really nice to kind of have a guideline to work off of. And this is just a random eyebrow pencil that I picked up. And so I have my design in front of me and so I'm going to be following the exact design that I have. So I just finished with my basic outline. And since I have two layers to make it look where there's gonna be two different colors, I'm gonna go in with another color and do the other line work. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and start filling in those lines that I did. I'm just filling in the brown spots that I did for this color specifically. So I did two separate colors to, for myself to see where I'm doing the two separate designs. Okay, so I just finished doing the first base and I set it with powder and it does look a little dull, but once we are done with the second base, we will be going back in and adding shadows. With eyeshadow, we'll be like deepening it up a little bit. So now I'm taking an even smaller brush since the other, the line work is a lot deep, smaller and more detailed. And I'm just going right on top. So I just finished all the darker blue around my face and I already set it. So now I'm just lightly dusting off 
you want to make sure you have a very light hand for this because sometimes the paint can still be wet. All right, so now this is all done. So now I'm gonna go in with a small buffing brush and I'm going to start creating more shadows and dimensions with using eyeshadow. So now I'm gonna go in with a Stila eyeshadow shimmer. And so I'm gonna work it up just like that. And then I'm gonna take my finger. You always wanna use this finger. You wanna use your ring finger because it's the lightest finger. You just want to pat it in and you just kind of push it, like we push it and tap it in to, so that it blends out. Okay, with that being done, now I'm going to go in with another product. This is NYX in Epic Wear Waterproof Eyeliner. Um, I'm not going to use it as eyeliner. I'm actually going to be using it as like mini freckles and it's going to look so good. So what you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're just going to like dab it lightly. And now I'm going to go in with a yellow eyeliner. Again, this is by NYX. This is Vivid Brights. This is not waterproof. And I'm going to go in and do some of those dots again, just around because I want some vibrant colors going on. Here's another NYX product. This is the Jumbo Eyeliner Pencil. So again, pigmented. This stuff is like so good. So you wanna pull down the eye. And I'm only gonna be doing the inner part. Right up in here. You can see how it widens the eye. That's what the white liner does. It's supposed to widen the eye. And then I'm gonna be going in with yet another NYX product. It's the black version of the Jumbo Eye Pencil. So I'm going to be putting that on the edge of my waterline. Okay, so now we're going to move on to eyeliner. I'm going back in with the Epic Wear Waterproof. My little technique that I do with eyeliner is whatever you do to one side, you got to do it to the other. So when I create a line, you always want to start from the inner corner and work your way out just because you can determine how big your your wing is gonna be. Okay, so now I'm going from eyes to lips. So I'm going to be lining my lips with a lip liner first, just because I like to overline my lips. And now I'll be going in with this lipstick. Uh, what else are you going in? Again, and I'm going to use it as highlighter on my nose just because again I love how pigmented it comes out but before I do so I'm going to be going in with another NYX product it is Love You So Mochi and it is a highlighter they have three different colors there's like a lavender a gold and a bronze I'm going in with the lavender and just putting it on my nose all right so now that I did that, I'm going to go back on with this one and just kind of lightly dab it on top. And dab it on my nose. Now we're going to move on to mascara. This is just a sampler, but it's um, from Sephora. It's the Milk Kush Mascara. And I'm just kind of like going from the root up and I'm pulling up. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do today is we're gonna put on some lashes. So I'm just applying. So now I'm gonna apply them. What I like to do is I like to bend them right before I apply them just because since the glue is still drying, it forms a shape that's like a shape of an eye. And then place them on top. All right, now I'm gonna go put my wig on and we'll be done. Alrighty guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. So here's the final look with the wig and the headpiece on. I still have uh, something else to put on underneath as well, but I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did enjoy making this whole video. Thank you guys so much.